night is falling. After many days of traveling, with death always on their trail, Silex and Sola arrive at their destination, the Tolemian Wilds. As they pause, their thoughts travel on. It has been a long and arduous journey. They traversed the green hell of Orgoron, climbed the Black Tower of Repentance, fought the living Colossus of Molokar. They encountered the famous warrior queen Cherishia the Valkyrian, made their way across the northern ice wastes, survived the brutal arena of a thousand deaths. They defied the Cave of Hands under the Imperial Palace, battled the Possian Sea Spider, and returned to their overdue books to the library. But now they are here. In the distance lies the castle of Rasmogola. Those are the two most dreaded words in the land. Rasmogola, the Skull King, the tyrant whose wicked whims have brought on strife and suffering among the people of Tulemia. The pillaging, the raping, the burning, the beheading, the torturing, <laughs> the digging up again, the crappy health care, the magic shadows, the last fiery castle every night, those evil pillaging, the smoke. Welcome, welcome to my humble abode. And so it was that the terrible reign of Rasmagala ended. As Silex claimed the throne, he reflected upon his new life. He wondered if he should make Sola his sex slave, or his maid, or perhaps... Yeah. In today's story, Sola and I made a long journey to settle an old score. But in real life, revenge isn't always sweet. Sometimes it's spicy, like chili garlic sauce. Check the cupboards in the kitchen when your parents aren't looking and take a big gulp of chili garlic sauce. You'll love it. It's what gives me my power. See you in a new adventure. Bored out of my skull here. <laughs> Whoopsie.